Hey guys, I'm in the shop today and I was hanging some cabinet doors and I thought I'd take a moment to walk you through one of my favorite jigs, this little guy here, that I use for fitting and hanging the doors. So let's hop over to the bench and we'll take a look at how this works. So if any of you have ever tried to hang inset cabinet doors, you know it can be pretty tricky. You have to really finesse every edge, you have to try and get the gap perfectly even, but you have to do it for two doors simultaneously and the problem is they're not hung yet. So if your cabinet's upright, you're gonna be balancing the doors, you're gonna be taping things off or holding them and trying to mark with another hand. So it can be really cumbersome and it's hard to get it just right. So of course, while I was pondering this problem into the wee hours of the night, I stumbled upon this little gem in my Furniture and Cabinet Construction by Andy Ray book, because I'm a nerd. And in there is a jig for a door hanger. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, almost, out of focus, okay. So you just have to take my word for it then. It's a very simple jig and it really just consists of three separate pieces. So we have a piece of wood here, a piece of wood here, and a construction tie hanger. Uh, you can find these at Home Depot or any other uh, local construction store and they're usually barely a 16th inch thick which is great because you don't want them to be too thick and all you have to do is attach one piece to the top and then use the door to gauge the thickness and attach the other piece to the bottom so the jig itself is actually pretty simple uh, it's just three pieces you've got two pieces of wood on either end and then you've got a construction hanger uh, in the middle here and you can find these at any local hardware store they should be about anywhere between five to eight inches long and uh, less than a sixteenth, maybe even a sixteenth inch thick, which is fine because you don't want them to be that thick. So the way it works is you attach one piece of wood to the top and then you use the door itself that you're going to be hanging to gauge the thickness and you want the bottom edge of this top piece to the top edge of this bottom piece here to be the exact same thickness as the door. And then all you do is you make a, a few more of these depending on how many doors you're going to hang. I made four. And you just hang this on the outside edge of your cabinet and your door sits right on top. So let's see it in action and see how it works. So I've already got one clamped right back here. I'll just slide the door right on top. And then before I put in this last one, just hold the door up. And boom, just like that. Now I've got both doors here that I can work on simultaneously and I can start finessing the gap around all four sides without having to worry about the door wobbling or falling in or even coming out on me or the gap that I've been working so hard to achieve is now off and you have to pretty much start over. So let's see how we shim these doors out. You got any nines? Yeah, I'm terrible at playing cards, I don't know. But these things do come in handy when you're shimming outdoors. So the idea here is to get an even reveal all the way around, and depending on what hardware you use, uh, it, it might vary anywhere from a heavy 16th to over an eighth of an inch. But the goal is you take your cards and you can shim them, or use them as shims, until you have the desired distance and now you know exactly how many cards that takes you can repeat it on the other side and go along all four edges until you have an even consistent reveal and if you don't have an even reveal well depending on what needs to be done you can take the door out with a hand plane or on the jointer or a table saw and you can take down a little bit at a time until you have an even gap all the way around. It's always better to do a little bit at a time than too much because obviously you, you can't put the wood back on. Um, but once you do have a nice consistent reveal, then you can go ahead and mark out the locations for your hardware, uh, any way that you want to lock the, the doors or have them latched to the, the cabinet, and then you're all good to go. So this is just a really simple and easy and effective way of fitting inset doors. 
I know it can be kind of tough, but it's always great to find a workaround. It's always great to find an easy jig. So if you guys have any comments or opinions or other ideas that might make this process even easier, please feel free to let me know. So that's it guys. If you have any other ideas, comments, questions, concerns, please let me know in the comments below and I'd love to start a conversation with you. Take care. I'm